Hello, Rebel Gman 10A. We're back. Now, first of all, an apology. I am sorry you missed last week's. For those of you who didn't keep up with the announcement, unfortunately, there was a death in my partner's family. Uh, her nan passed away, so um, we've been dealing with all of the fallout from that. She was very sick, uh, and it's, it took a while. You know, the funeral, we had to sort the funeral and things like that with mum. Um, it's just life, really, isn't it? It's just how it goes. But I, I do, I am sorry for you missed out. Um, but we're going to do a double real quick, go over um, what happened the two weeks, well the week we've been gone and this last week as well. Uh, I'm joined uh, once again by my uh, faithful and reliable reliable uh, co-host McNugget. Hello Division 10A, hello again Mr Metal. Hello buddy, uh, and you're in this division aren't you, so you're going to talk about yourself for a second. We're going to jump right into the leaderboard to see what's going on. Now, in fact actually checking the schedule, everyone's played, that's good, so we're going to confirm the round and we'll talk about... Who's coming next in a little bit? But looking over, uh, we called this a little bit, didn't we? Muppetillo running away with the division a little bit. Uh, he's not a million miles ahead of everyone else, but he's he's, he's established a, a bit of a commanding lead. Yes. Um, also, just picking up the one draw so far to possibly the best coach in the division at the moment. Myself. You drew Helgen? <laughs> he drew <with> me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I diced him so badly. But... Um, no, Muppetillo's orcs have yeah, really been going through the motions. They're picking up a lot of wins. Uh, I'm not sure uh, his schedule, if he's got some more of the Claw Mighty Blow still to face. Well, he's got already you, which you're probably the scariest team in the division, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I don't know. My Claw Mighty Blow has done nothing for the last three games. I mean, just um, because it does nothing doesn't mean it's not scary. Okay, It's it's like a <laughs> wizard, right? If Just because your lightning bolt might roll a one, I mean, until it rolls a one, it's actually scary, right? That's true, that's true. But um, the division is very tight at the moment. Oh, yes. Um, like I say, he's, when I say running away, I mean, he's, what, four points ahead of Captain Yasarian and Lewis M, who are both... I mean, Kislev having a great opening season is is incredible. I'm, I'm quite excited to see Lewis continue to do well because Kislev are just fun to watch. Don't don't tell Crusader or uh, Swagger <laughs> I said that. But I, I, like, I like watching them, so I've enjoyed watching uh, Lewis' streams. You, because he's just really salty a lot of the time as well. Yeah, and doesn't doesn't read his chat. Yeah, he doesn't read his chat at all. Don't 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 go to his streams. He, he'll ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but even then, looking at the the mid table, I mean, you're propping up the mid, but there's three years: Gremzilla, Basman's Grob, and uh, you, who are still, you know, you guys are still a threat. You can't count these out. You're only a point behind uh, Lewis and Yasarian, and. Uh, mm. And by definition, yeah. four points behind uh, Muppetillo, so... Definitely, and the, the top guys have still got to play each other mostly. Um, I know for a fact that i still got to play Grimzilla and um, Bassman's Grob over the next few weeks, so at least two of those coaches above me, I, I get the chance to make points upon, and although Muppetillo's a wee bit ahead at the moment, I do think the coaches around him he still has to play, so... Um, yeah, it's, I... it's, it could quite quickly move the table. Helgen, down there at the bottom, having what we call a Season 1 Nurgle experience. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm possibly <laughs> more disappointed in Lassus, though, for ruining the draw streak. Yeah, he... he, he oh, poor Lassus. I mean, he could, going nice through English. with 11 draws <laughs> would, have been, would have been horrible, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's 11 points. It's better than one. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Elgin. Oh man, um, no early Nurgle. I I ex I kind of predicted this a little bit that Helgen was going to be propping up the bottom. It's not because I think he's a bad coach or I don't respect him in any way. It's because I've played Nurgle a lot and know how bad that first season actually is. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say Helgen actually sent me a message on Monday night or Sunday saying probably the same thing I sent you after five weeks of college with my Nurgle. I hate and my team. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Until you get like two uh, skills on all you. We'll, we're gonna look at the teams in a moment, but to see if how far away from from happiness he is. But uh, yeah, until you get some skills on your team, Nurgle are awful. Like the it's like playing a rubbish version of Lizardman, maybe without the skinks. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. I don't know. It's, it's not. It's movement. not good fun. It, it, they're just they're just bad. They're a bad early team. Um, yes, Mashuga and Horde Master. I'm kind of surprised by their slow starts. I know Mashuga came in with obviously the issue of having a dead Crocs. Um, Mashuga has also played 
me Muppetillo at least in the first three games. Yeah, he, he's, so he's of, played a lot of the early bash that he may yeah, struggle he's, against. He's hit all of the early AV9, hasn't he? Which kind of makes... It's just an unpleasant experience. Let's go quick, quickly look over the, the last two weeks of games, see where we're at. 2-2, um, two, two, uh, Zamaj Severa versus Thank You Parents. Not a surprise, it's a draw from Thank You Parents. Uh, Meshuggah actually beat the Nurgle 2-1, which I did call to happen. The Damned Horde taking on um, Louis Shem was... That that was a surprise, a little bit of a surprise result, I thought. But I don't know um, if you saw the game. Everything went everything I, I, went. I, I did, yeah. <laughs> um, definitely. And th this was my first experience against some Claw Mighty Blow. I, had, I was playing the Skaven, where we did no casualties. They... <laughs> has three of their own players. But I mean, you did win 1-0, so you can't overly... I, I, I did win 1-0, but that was due to a 1, re-rolled into a 1 for a gutter runner dodge. Oof. And then That's I ran the whole length of the pitch with my movement set of Hobgoblin. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the most worrying fact of that game was turn 4, my wheel centre died. Ow. Did I get Apple, didn't a, a, Apple didn't a fine, but playing 12 turns against Claw Mighty Blow that actually works... <laughs> it's a lot worrying. It's very, I mean, very scary. Theoretically, you just sat there f f getting a taste of your own medicine a little bit. It's like where everyone else is like, well, this is what it feels like to be us when we've got to play you and we're scared of, of your claw mighty blow. And you're like, well, yeah. Basically, I guess. yeah. Yeah, I that, guess. that. Yeah, I, and as we'll see next week, I then face more claw mighty blow. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to that. Now, the elves throwing down a 2-2. Two -two. I, I kind of think we predicted that a little bit as well, didn't we? That they were going to... I, I kind of would have liked it to go a bit higher, maybe a 3-3 three -three or a 4-4. Four -four. That's a bit more mm -hmm. exciting. But, you know, it's a thing. It's a result. It's a draw. Uh, flicking no, yeah. into the second... The, the second week we were covering, you beat the Galactic Death Rips 2-0, which was a, a result. Um. Yeah, again... So this was the Underworld, uh, coached by Chugman Milk, who was... Very great coach. Uh, we had a lot of fun in chat. The he seems like a top bloke, to be fair. Every, every time I've encountered him in chat, I've genuinely thought, like, this this guy's a good laugh. Um, yeah, and we had quite very silly dice in the first half. At one point, his his ball carrier was deep in his field, unprotected, and I gave him the option of surfing a rookie chorf or blitzing my hobgoblin that was marking his ball carrier. So he took the surf on the chorf and then failed the dodge Oof. with the ball carrier. Ouch. Um, so I was able to obviously get the ball back and so, score. So and what then... you were saying was you, you, you applied anti-Andy Davos strategy against him <laughs> and he fell for it. <laughs> well, yes. Um, I, I I will throw chorf in the way of a, a victory if needed. Um, yet again, Claw Mighty Blue for both of us did nothing. Absolutely nothing. I did... Zero cars with my Claw Mighty Blow, and he did zero cars with his um, right. Claw now, Mighty Blow. Right, there's someone who's now, who's, who's now rolled two undead and doesn't have access to Claw Mighty Blow anymore. I can tell you I'm crying you a river right now. <laughs> well, the only good thing about all that, though, is that I've got through the two Claw Mighty Blow teams and not hurt them for everyone else to face. I'm sure they're loving that. I'm sure they were all <laughs> looking at that going, you can trim these for us, and you were like, nah, they're fine. <laughs> and I think everybody was looking at my Claw Mighty Blow thinking, oh, one of, one of the other Claw Mighty Blows is going to get Buckfast bands and kill him for us. And it's <laughs> Whoever like, loses, no. we win. It's like, no. Yeah, and all of us won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other, other big results this week. Uh, two thin courts taken on the Mark of Nurgle. Again, kind of expected that elves are going to stomp early Nurgle. You just don't have the tools. You know, you, you don't really get tackle any time early. You don't tend to get wrestle as a first skill. On, on your pesties because you need them too much to be actually good at life um, so it's it's a tough matchup uh, thank you parents losing as you mentioned to Lewis after a bit of a dicing I think you said I, do you know what I, it was a game where elves couldn't dodge Oh God! and I think any elf coach that hears that will know what I mean by that um, I think um, thank you parents the witch elf failed three jump up blocks in a row <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh um, my god, that's just why. Yeah, just one, one of the Witch Elves is MNG for the next round. Um, I remember well, that. We'll be looking at the teams in a moment, so we'll, we'll not spoil any surprises yeah. there. But, needless to say, not the result I think Latchis was looking for. Uh, Raph Scallywads took on maybe a season for a 2-0 win. 
Ark Nudos coming up with 1-0. Uh, the, you know, the Norse holding them a little bit. You know, maybe a weakness in that was, the um, play. I, I watched both of those games. So the Rap Scallywags, that was a failed pass away from being a 1-1 draw. The High Elves failed the... I think it was a three. I remember. Pass, I'm pretty sure Harrington streamed this one of them. Uh, Sean Mad. Sean Mad streamed. Someone streamed it, yeah. and I remember looking. Uh, at it, He flipped sides, and I was like, "How did that high elf get to the opposite end of the pitch in one turn?" Yeah, I was so uh, confused. So the high elves went from a, a two plus from tying to the Skaven taking up the other end and scoring to make it two nil, and the Orc versus Norse. The Orcs utterly. Um, almost destroyed themselves on their drive. Uh, I think it was a one in nine pickup followed by like double skulls and stuff. So the Norse had very early pressure on. Oof. So the Orcs actually, if I remember correctly, the Orcs turned the Norse over in their drive, but there was maybe five Norse on the pitch. <laughs> yeah, which um, is a very Norse thing to do, right? Um, yeah. Um, it does not. It doesn't. I do note though that it's it's worthy of of note that Orc Orc and Oru's, uh, are struggling a little bit against any opponent that seems to be able to field a lot of block. That that is true. Um, not just that the Norse obviously do have Dauntless built in with their runners. They've got a Yeti that's got to keep the Bash teams honest, and Frenzy doing a lot of work as well. So. Um, they, they, they did get the, the numbers advantage, which helped them get that win out of there. But um, Orcs getting the wins, I'm sure uh, Mopatillo would just be happy picking up those big Ws. I like and, seeing Orcs win, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't hate if, if Mopatillo was one of the uh, guys representing this division in planes. I think he's a top lock and he's a really good coach. So And a very good streamer. So if you don't follow him already, go give him a check. Yeah, you know what? Actually, there's quite a few streamers in this division because Lewis streams, although he doesn't talk to his chat. No, no, he doesn't use chat. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and Muppetillo does stream. And uh, okay, so maybe he doesn't bless them. I thought there's a couple. And the I watching. recap. You know, you recap. Yeah, it's almost the same, I guess. You don't stream. Yeah, yeah, All same. right, let's have a look at the teams, and then we'll talk about who's coming next week. The final game there, of course, being um, a two-two between. Uh, Cro sorry, it was a 2 2 there between Croxidale, Dundees, and the Damned Horde, which is an interesting result. Um, look at the teams themselves, see where we're at with development. Um, yeah. I love that he went wrestle on his strength goal. It's scary, but it's good. And he's it's, still yeah. putting SPP in it because he's 25 to 31. So He has went double mighty blue on the whites, which suggests he is going for that early, early kill factor. I like um, that too, you know. Make one, give one of them pile on, the other one tackle. That works really well for me, in my mind. Um, it does mean you're waiting quite a while for extra guard, though. That's yeah, the only risk. But, you know, you can roll doubles. Um, <laughs> Jinx <laughs> seems to be a replacement mummy. So, by the looks of things, um, one mummy died. I hate it when that happens. Against um, either died or possibly start busted. I'm not um, sure, though, right, how I feel about these zombies with block. In fact, I'm entirely There's, sure how I feel about it, but it, it needs to be clear. <laughs> it needs to. You're right. My okay. Put it in perspective. I, as you may or may not know, I'm also playing Undead in a fresh division this season. Well, I'm not. I'm not necessarily fresh. Everyone around me played bloody uh, Rampo, uh, Greenhorn, and I didn't. Oops. Um, but <laughs> it's very worthy of note that um, my first two zombie level ups. One of them was Dirty Player, and the other one was Kick. And that's because they're both very, very strong skills. Uh, and can I block? It's nice. It's it's okay. It no, helps hold the line, but it just it just feels like you're putting extra SPP, uh, extra TV on players that you just don't need to put the TV on. Now I do think I, looking at the fact that he has the skeleton, which itself is sometimes a debate to have on the undead. Um, obviously, it is one movement more, but it's one armor less, so it does get. Um, stunned more often, although it does have thick skill to compensate for that. Personally, having played on Dare myself, I prefer the armor eight over the armor seven in movement. See, I'd like, rather I my like players. Skeleton to foul, but if it doesn't level, you you, you foul with what yeah. you can foul with, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely. Apart from that, some good solid X SPP gained on the team. So one of the mummies has guard and his um, MVP or a couple of cars away from level. Uh, both whites, one cars away from a level. Uh, I could see trying to get Marauder the Ghoul 
uh, to six SPP, possibly to pick up Sure Hands. I do like a Sure Hands go myself. I just assume, to take away the need for a reroll. I assume Ravage is probably going to get Sure Hands if because he's already got block. So I'm assuming he's going to end up blood step Sure Hands if he only rolls normals. Moving on, yeah. we've looked at that team for quite a bit already. Uh, needless to say, less happy with. Oh, 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 my sugar. Oh, yikes. Yeah. That's not a result we like to see, is it? That's. That's not the one. I mean, he does have some other treats. So obviously, McNugget, um, the Armour 8 Saurus. It's not terrible. It's, it's ideally dead. replaced as. It's dead. Yeah, it is. But it's dead, to Jim. be fair, to be fair, it gets replaced anyway after this game because you'll get at least 10k yeah, from the true. match. Unless something else dies. But yeah. Plus move skink. Blodge step skink. Love it. Um, yep. And, you know, block, block, block. Mighty blow. It's 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 getting there. It's starting to get its blocks in. It's Croxagore is one SPP away from level. It's got two other Saurus, one and two SPP away from level, which might even mm -hmm. imply potential hand off the ball territory at some point. Definitely it's nope. scary, but it's worth doing if you if you're in control. Interesting question here: block on Skink, not sure hands. I like how do you step. feel? I like I like blood step for your first one that gets a double. There's no, there's only one wood elf team in the div. It's kind of how much do you re respect them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Has he played them yet? Um, I'll go and have a quick look. Because if he has, if he's played them, he doesn't need to respect them because he's played them. If he, no, he's not. If he hasn't played them, it might be a sign of disrespect. Is all I'm saying. I just until all your Saurus are self-sustainable with block. I do personally like a sure hand skink just to free up your. Um, re-rolls for the one in nines for the Saurus or have an extra one or two left for the handoff players like you talked about yeah I don't know because at the end of the day makes it a good carrier against everyone that's not Wood Elves though right to be fair your ball carry should never be getting hit sometimes yeah you say that but sometimes you True, don't but, I mean, have that choice this, this was a mad team it's going to want one re-roll for the one turner and that means you're basically playing with two re-rolls to cover your Saurus Right, we're going to switch over anyway to Zamaji Severa. And obviously, we're, we're both kind of torn on that one, but we can only spend so much time time on each team. If you feel like we're not spending enough, sorry, boys. It's, it's all we've got in the tank, <laughs> I'm afraid, at this point. But looking at it, uh, this is kind of... There's not a great deal of development, is there? I mean... I think what development it gets is removed. The, I mean, yeah, the development it has got, I really like. Block. You know, two block, yeah. all four earners, great. Guard on a runner. Uh, I like we guard wherever you can get it on Norse is, is valuable in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Agi the, uh, up and, Agi and then a double on a lineman. Has, he's becoming like a, a the, the ball carrier. He's like, I, I, want, <laughs> I want in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want in on that action, guys. Perfect. Um, that's basically your built-in ball carrier there. It does also free your runners up for other roles. Um if he gets oh, like a movement up or something, it'd be just insane, wouldn't it? It'd be so good. And he has the exciting thing, obviously, for for him as a player is he gets shoe hands on a normal. So, that's true, which is very helpful as well. Yeah, I like it. It's quite exciting. Obviously, the Yeti is now Tatansky Zamaj number two. Rip Tatansky Zamaj number one. The, the first one died. Um, but yeah, um, North team. It's it's a North team that could quickly explode. In development, a lot of players, you know what I mean, within five SPP. <laughs> they could they could explode either. It could, way. Also, it could explode yeah. but in a cloud of red smoke, red smear as well on the on the pitch. But you know, it's one of the two. Looking over towards the next team again, trying to keep this a little bit hasty. If you think we're going too fast, well, I'm sorry. There's only two of us, one each, and we've got other divisions to cover as well. So you got to share it. But uh, yeah, um, this poor storm vermin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. He's he's the, he's the new guy, and he's already MNG. <laughs> yep, first match MNG. Um, and he's already father. he's already the damn understudy because <laughs> Slazy is so good. Slazy one SPP away from pylon. Yep. Oh no, tackle. It's got to be tackle. <sighs> pylon. It's got to be tackle. You know, I think I'm you would look, you would look at the remainder of your games no, and see at, how much you'd agility at, you've got. You'd look at tackle and go tackle. No, because you're smart. Pylon. Pylon. <laughs> Yasarian smart. He's got a thrower, which I might de delete the smart comment I just made. He's starting to get rid of some of his minus movements, though. If you look, he's recycling. 
<laughs> yep, he's finally getting rid of some of that red vanilla, and ledger. Vanilla Mice's son has turned up to replace the movement busted Vanilla Mice. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's it's nice to see this team kind of turn in the corner as far as, you know, replace... Because, like, that, you know, you don't care about the linemen that are going to move and busts. He's got two kickers, which is uh, a bold manoeuvre. <laughs> one of them's um, off with I, him. One of the linemen's <laughs> off. I just saw this. He's, he's actually got an extra movement bust on, on a lineman <laughs> just from last game. What is yeah. with this team? It's cursed. Well, it's getting what it needs where it needs it. I mean, plus strength on a gutter runner. You've got your claw, mighty bro, and your stone vermin. minus movement. Yeah, but it, it, you can't argue with it as a scaling team because, you, like you said, you really don't care about the line fodder. Um, well, yeah, movement six line art versus movement seven line art really isn't going to is unlikely to cost you the game. It may make life a touch difficult if you're trying to reposition, but on the whole, no, movement six is fine for a guy who's standing on the line and getting punched in the face anyway. So who cares? Yeah. But yeah, it's it's looking nice. I like this team. It's it's definitely got potential. Mm -hmm. We've got you next, so let's let's talk about the fact that I think. I'm right, you finally <laughs> took a bloody guard. I did. I've um, been saying it for five weeks. Well, that's because that was the first chance to get MVP and take the level. Um, I, I Yes, I've had a level up on my bull centre, so it's now got break tackle. I've picked up a guard, and I actually picked up a 12th player for my game against Chug Man Milk, mainly because I wanted to put three hobgoblins on the LOS and one of them not be the movement seven. That makes sense. So and also because you want to foul. Well, that game it was more about just not putting Chaucer on the no, line. No, you were fouled. I, I know I do. you far too. Don't pretend. Don't tell them. Don't the, tell them. We all know the truth. We all know the truth. You can't lie they to don't. me. You want to foul. They know. They don't. They know. They don't know, they don't know the truth of it. You can hear them um, agreeing with me. Anyway, get my guard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got one Chaucer, two SPP away from a level, Black Pussycat Man, and Drax the Sheep Shaggers, an MVP away. So, Rock Island Cow just needs a couple of SPP to get in that range as well. And... Hopefully, Buckfast Barnes will actually kill something. <laughs> Speaking about actually killing something, um, Latchis is up next, and it looks like a couple of his players actually are desperate. You know, there's a couple there that will level off a of Kaz. Um, he's got two tackle, which is probably more tackle than anyone else in the division. Has, has yeah, there's bought. a lot of IG in our division, though. There is, yeah. I, I, I agree. This is my point. This is why that Storm Vermin needs tackle. No. Look, let... <laughs> Let Latchis show you the way. He's showing you the right way, except he's got an MNG Witch Elf, who alas. Um, yeah. But he's got he's got six positionals when, when she turns up. So, three rerolls. He's in a 130k in the bank. He's actually in a pretty good spot as far as being a Dark Elf goes, right? He's got all his money. He's got all his positionals. He's very high team value, though. Well, yeah, because he's got all his positionals. Um, Which means... So, I have an issue. I don't know how I feel about Woody Held. Based on the fact that getting up off the ground and only moving three squares is very damaging for elves. Two squares. Uh, two squares, yeah. It's true. And also block, not the best thing for alignment. But, you know, I, I still think you can't quite fire him yet because block is actually no. a really useful skill. It's, He's still better than a loner. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, moving on to the next team. <laughs> Poor Helgen. Oh. Poor Helgen and his... He's got, he's got, how has he got two skills on a beast? Why is the only player on his team <laughs> that has more than one skill is Beast of Nurgle? Jesus Christ. I just think it's the uh, MVPs. Three uh, MVPs. I mean, three MVPs on the Beast of Nurgle. Uh, that says it all. Uh, obviously, his killer, kind of like mine, is still stuck two SPP away from a level. Wait, hang on. 20 SPP, three MVPs. What a... He's got a touchdown. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did he score a Beast of Nurgle touchdown? Yep. <laughs> That's incredible. I love it. Uh, I'm I, not sure if it was in the Greenhorn. I don't care. <laughs> it's, but, yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so good. Now yeah, he's in. So his Mighty Blow Pestigor is only 2 SPP way. I presume he'll be anxiously trying to get that claw. Yes. Just to actually be a threat which um, helps out so much more trying to remove players off the pitch to give your Nurgle Warriors some chances for handoffs. And also chances to even just, you know, base unevenly and make sure that they 
have to dodge away or just get punched in the head, which is really nice as well. Yeah. But yeah, he's got a couple of block. Uh, a couple that desperately, desperately need some more SPP feeding towards them. Lord Manfever, Lucky Kaz against one of the AV7 teams, could really yep. make his life really good right now. Um, Prince Koff, unfortunately, MNG, but one touchdown away from a level. I'm assuming this is probably going to be the ball handler, unless it rolls something special. Uh, it might be the Saka, but it's one of those two things, really, isn't it? Um, yeah. And yeah, that's about it, really. He's got 12 players. Yep, I wouldn't hate to when see Dudley player back. coming on the voters next. Oh, very much so. I, I don't like this wrestle very much, but that's just me. Mm, um, I, I think as a place on the LOS to try and tie people up, but I would like to see Dirty player on the next one. Uh, getting over to the damn Kislev. And uh, I know, I saw this Lush actually M. happen. Uh, Lush M took a minus move. He's, he's, he's getting a bit cast uh, recently. He took a minus move on his catcher with guard now and he was a little concerned as to you know his future and I'm like it's a catcher with guard you don't yeah. care that you're moving six leap kind of helps to make up for being moving six because this isn't a guy that you're going to be pushing to carry the ball on ever so he no. doesn't need the movement six the movement seven as much in my mind it's kind of okay because he yeah. more he's going to be throwing into bad situations anyway so if you're trying to keep him healthy like well, you, you, it's a player that you're throwing into cages and stuff to get to set up two dice. It's yeah, the, the, those, basically... two, those two aims <laughs> are not mutually, you know, they're not compatible. <laughs> no, that that's the catcher that you throw in to give you the two dice on the Volcara for your leaps. You you keep the movement seven one a bit more protected till it gets blocked, but the movement six one's the one that gets thrown in first. In you go, like, have one. fun. Yeah, <laughs> have it. Um, but yeah, Kislev getting a lot of development on it. Right. Kislev okay, I've got a that... question. Movement up on a blitzer. Do we like that? I don't know if we do. Um, feels a bit unnecessary because he's still adding could... three. And personally, I don't because they have jump up. I don't yeah. think blitzers need move with jump up. If it was a catcher, hundred percent. Um, yeah, because they, they, their job is to have the ball and to run really, really fast. And yeah, Apart from that one I, guy whose job is to have guard and, and not run <laughs> and really jump fast. in the cage. Yeah. I, I wouldn't take movement because I would never be designing a Kislev Blitzer as my one turner. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe it's the whole, ooh, you're always in danger because I've always got range on you, but it feels a bit unnecessary to me. We'll see I how I would it works say, however, I want to see Frenzy on it next then. A block Frenzy or even... Um, Blitzers get strength or normals, don't they? Strength or normals, yeah. I actually, Juggernaut frenzy. Yeah. I, I, okay. If you're gonna give him movement, you've kind of got to give him frenzy at this point, I think. Yep. And then juggernaut. Yeah, I, I, I can buy that. I love uh, Chug Man Milk finally set up his uh, motto, and it was to say that he's very sorry to the entire division that you're playing <laughs> and you die. I like that. Yeah, that was very nice of him. Um, he's got claw on his troll. He's got claw, mighty blow on a scaven blitzer. He's got mighty blow on another blitzer. So they're going nice. You can block on one mm. thrower and extra arms on the other. He's got a wrestle goblin, wrestle two heads goblin, which I love, even with the minus uh, AV. He, he, you know, his, his life expectancy isn't great anyway, so it doesn't matter. That, that's not true. I hit that goblin three times with claw mighty blow and nothing. Well, you know, claw doesn't work on AV6, right? Yeah, but it's still mighty mean, blow. If you're hitting, it's still if mighty you're hitting blow. AV6 with claw, <laughs> you're probably doing it wrong. It's still mighty blow. So more than a fairy, it's more like a tank. Do you know, to be fair, there was a bug uh, when Blood Bowl 2 first came out where if you hit an AV6 player with Claw, it gave them AV7. <laughs> <laughs> so they fixed it, but that's just, just a funny little fact. <laughs> I mean, that goblin has sustained 12 blocks. Yeah, well, obviously, because his, his entire job is to run into cages and take the ball off people, and then they get <laughs> and angry. And still it? alive. Right, now this uh, next team, there's not, there's not much to say, sorry, Chug, it's a team. It's looking good. You've got a bit of development in the right places. Keep it up is what I'm going to go with. But Basman's Grob is a very, very expensive team. He's 1550 high elves. What's that about? I, oh. I'm looking at that thinking when it comes around to us playing second last week of the season, I'm going to get hey, a couple of bribes for free. Hang on. He's 1550 <laughs> and he's got a 70k player, MNG. So he's actually 1620. Um, and he's only got two catchers. What so he's still got team? a third one to get. What is this team? And a fourth one, technically, if you want them. Um, now, here's the question. It was a question that I had when I played High Elf last season. 150k in the bank, do you take this as your chance to try and get a uh, pitch upgrade? What you do is you play your next game, 
Because 150 is fine. 100, you can yep. hold 150. You play your next game, and if no one dies and you get a decent amount of winnings, then you buy a level 2 stadium. And then you build your way slowly back up to 150k, and then you play your next game after being at 150k, and if nobody dies, you then buy your upgrade. Is mm. is my mentality on it. And it works yep. for me. Now, so. I do see that he finally got a second thrower. So it does look like he's going to cut, uh, turn the strength four block one into the sort of the, road the, block, the running, I imagine. The running guy, yeah. Yeah. Um, so also picking up a second throw. Looks like. I, I would like to see a couple of vanity passes being thrown about. I feel um, like he's been doing that, though. He's got a lot of SPP spread around this team. Yeah, but to get that, that second thrower leveled up... Look, right, uh, like I'm looking at this more... team and I'm thinking, it's doing well after a season. Especially in a season in this div. It's it's doing pretty well. There's a lot of claw flying around that he's doing okay. So I'm, yep. I'm not going to tell him what to do. He knows what he's up to. Apart from, yeah. you know, I love his names as well. I thought he died last go with the kicker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yeah, yeah. and then he's got this random thrower that he clearly forgot to, uh, to name. <laughs> yeah. Um... You're going to have to explain that one, Bastos. What happened to that throw? He literally was not paying attention, I reckon. Anyway, we're yeah. into Mopatillo, um, the, the big man, the big dog. Uh, look at this as well. Two Black Orcs a block, third Black Orc, one SPP away. That's a nice that's a nice MVP, that, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. one, one fresh, not so good. But uh, Blitzers, two guard, one with Mighty Blow, tackle, one with Dodge. Movement up thrower. <laughs> oh, God. Just... When you've got a it's dodge, never. your throwers get stats. I know, but when you've got a dodge um, blitzer, I almost feel like it's time to sack the thrower. You know, as soon as nah. the dodge blitzer gets your hands, get rid of the thrower. No, nope. nope. See, I I would much rather keep the thrower and allow all four blitzers to get guard and go guard with the black orcs and just be a big mighty wall of block guard. Yeah, but no. Yeah, because I just I just don't like throwers and. Yeah, you don't like throwers just like you he's don't like rattle. He's a hundred k for a player with six three three eight pass and sure hands. That's that's not mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's you can't argue that that's good because it's simply not good. It's it's a horrible play. Well, well it's not, it's not top, the fault, top place, so they must be doing something right. Well, yeah, but it's not the thrower. Disagree. <laughs> anyway, two touchdowns. Going to bounce into uh, Grimzilla who is, I think, losing players every single week, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, he does point out, do people even read these on his team more? So there you go. Yeah, we've proved that in the past. We've absolutely <laughs> proven we read them. Um, he's got a Mighty Blow Ward answer, which is really nice. And a Strip All Ward answer, which is really nice. And, I mean, the rest of your team barely matters at that point. <laughs> uh, RG5 is still alive. That's also very nice. RG5 is alive. It's, it's uh, flipping short circuit, man. Three also took grab as first level, Love so it. that point Love one ton grab. touchdowns galore to me. Love grab so much. Yeah, big fan of that. Um, and yeah, bludge step uh, catcher. I'd li love to see that catcher pick up uh, shoe feet next, because having sprint and not shoe feet scares the bejesus out of me. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a kicker, because of course he does. I like it. It's, it's there. It's got. It's coming on. Um, and we're going to look quickly into week six's matchup. Um, two thing court. We've just looked at them taking on uh, the Orc Nudos, so that's Muppetillo's. That's one of Muppetillo's bigger challenges. Hmm. Strip ball war dancer against sure hands Orc thrower. Yeah, the, the thrower's going to pay for himself in that one, and then he can sack him. Um, <laughs> I think this is going to be tough for two thing court. It's. I think it's all going to be about minimise with blocks. Probably not trying to sack the ball over much, and maybe just playing around the one turn touchdown threat if you can keep players alive. Yeah, mm, it's gonna be a tough um, one. I, I think it's, it's gonna go more Patillo's way because Orcs love that matchup, and he's got a mighty blow block. He's got a mighty blow tackle um, blitzer. So, hello. It's going to be fun. Yes. Um, following that, we've got maybe a season versus the damned horse, or the the high elves versus the undead here. So, uh, should be another very good matchup. The undead obviously got his two mighty blow whites. Uh, see if they could actually get those SPP and do a bit of damage to those. Also, they get a ton of inducements. Yeah, um, I, I've got to give this one a hard master. I think. I, th uh, I think it'll be one and lost on the fouling and the bribes. I think if you could get early removals, it'd be good. But um, Bassman's grob has been shown to be a very good player, so can't really 
put him out there as... No, I'm not. You know what? He can still I, think, do some job. I think when I say it's going to be Hordemasters, I think it's going to be very, very close. But I think it's going his way. So, personally. You can bet on Basman's if you want, and I wouldn't bet... I, I don't like betting against him, because he is a very good coach. But so is Hordemaster, and he's got... I wouldn't hit a draw in that match. Yeah, maybe it could be a draw. It could be a draw. <laughs> We've got the Crocodile uh, Dundee's taking on Galat's Death Rift, and Galat's Death Rift grips, they've not had the best season. So, I mean, well, Crocodile Dundee's has been almost as bad. As bad. You know, they're both struggling a little bit, but it feels th- like this is a matchup that Lizards should be able to handle because the one thing I always found with Underworld was that when you get outstrengthed, it's a really bad time, and, and Lizards excel at outstrengthening people. True, but the Glark Death Rips do have the Claw Mighty Blow on a Blitzer and the Troll. Um, and there's also got quite a big bench. Now, the Crocodile Dundees will be down a Saurus, so they'll be missing some strength and have to have a, a Skink Cloner in place yeah, of that. You've seen yourself that just, just having Claw Mighty Blow isn't enough if it doesn't work. No, but the Crocodile Dundees being down to five Saurus might cause them a bit of problems with the amount of numbers that the Glark Death Rips can throw at knocking down skinks and fouling them. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I think personally it's it's going to come down to whether Claw fires or not. But for that, reliant, being as it's reliant on Claw, and it is quite hard to get two dices with those Storm Vermins a lot of the time against Saurus. If uh, the Saurus are positioned well, I've got to, I've got to give it over to uh, Meshuggah personally. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll definitely be an interesting one to see how it goes. Uh, look uh, at the next one. It's Cirque de Laws versus Zamaji Savara. Now this feels like a bit of a. I mean, looking at the, uh, the the leaderboard, this feels a little bit unmatched, doesn't it? It's very high up versus very low down. I, I, it's. I mean, it's I it's Lucian's chance to prove lost on... that that movement on the blitter was a good choice, right? <laughs> I think this one could be won and lost on the inducements, to be honest. Um, Kislev normally are just worse humans. And humans, I believe, sort of like Norse, but with the amount of development that Lush has on his Kislev, he, he probably severely outskills the Norse. He does, a little. Um, so the Norse, in my opinion, you're, you're going to have to be looking at picking up a couple of bribes, um, maybe even a bay, maybe even dipping, dipping into your own funds to um, get some of this, and just saying, you know what, if you want to wrestle me with your catchers, I'm going to foul you as soon as they go down. If your blitzers want to hit the deck, um, yeah, I'm going to fall them into the ground. Broken legs, right? Exactly. Chubstep knows that very well. <laughs> Looking at the next one, Mark and Urgle versus the Rap Scallywags. I, I said the last one was it was a, a bit of a mismatch in terms of table position. This one's even worse for poor old Helgen. Um, and traditionally, this is... Skaven are a team that Nurgle, early Nurgle, really suffer against. Yeah, th- this is one of the games where, as the Nurgle coach, you're looking to just four Palmer seven collapses and you, you want, everything. You want to cast line rats, don't you? They, yeah, ninety percent of Helgen's game plan over the next match should really be a case of, I'm not even going to punch gut runners. I'm just going to smack line rats as much as humanly possible. Yep, especially with the mighty blow, get at that level for claw mighty blow. Um, the beast of Nurgle can be used to tie up players. Um, he does have a couple of block warriors, but. Um, but if that might be almost... fires, oh True, but you're almost happy enough for the Skaven to stall because you just want to hit rats non-stop. Um, you're probably worse off with the ball in your hand. Like because I then say, you're having I, to protect it. I, in my mind, in my mind, um, it's it's pretty much always the Rap Scallywag's game, but it's all about how much it hurts. Yeah. And speaking of that, I feel like the next match is even more... A, how much it hurts. These poor Dark Elves, they don't deserve you. What, me and my three mighty they blow? Don't, what did they do to deserve this? Um, filthy Dark Elves always deserve it. They're nice. Like it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, Strength 4, Dark Elf, got a block size so dot, which Elf, if I remember, but I actually think we... I think I'm only 20k higher or 30k at most than the Dark Elves so I'm not giving up very much, maybe a babe at most Yeah, it's it's. I mean they've got MNGs so it's... Yeah, and loners so guess what else I won't be targeting <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I would hope. I, I'm hoping to pick up a win here. Obviously, two weeks ago, Mertle was giving me some stick about having not picked up any wins yet. And in the two weeks we've been away, I've picked up two wins. So it's hoping to keep that going. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um, hoping to pick up another win here. I I do have a lot of experience playing Dark Elves myself, so it kind of helps in this matchup just knowing what to be aware of and how to work around the agility. Let's face it, your, your game plan here is to punch everything as hard as possible and hope to get some Kaz SPP. Mm, that on top of getting the win, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So, I, I, thank you parents, I am praying for you, my dude. I'm praying for you, I hope the claw continues to not fire us, just so you've got a team left, it'll be lovely. Uh, do your best. I, I will say, Metal has just severely cast or cursed you there, and if your whole team dies, do not blame me, blame Metal for I that. I mean, you'll be the there. one throwing the punches. I'm just, I'm just saying you'll be the one throwing the punches anyway that brings us to the end of that coverage thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please let us know we're not going to do a focus on section because we have to do a double week we're already at 40 minutes which is a solid 10 minutes longer than I want to be really for these I, I like to keep it short and punchy but we have to do a double so we catch them back up expect that feature to return next week also do remember uh, if you're still watching at this point it's important to note this is a two week round because it's Christmas so if you celebrate Christmas uh, Merry Christmas uh, if you do not Merry Religious Ceremony of Choice I guess <laughs> I never quite <laughs> let's to say that but... let's step back from the trouble that is brewing down that alleyway and just say you have two weeks to play this shall we round? go with Happy Holidays how about that uh, Holidays aren't happy I mean yeah Feliz Navidad! What? Muppetillo like that. It's Merry Christmas in Spanish. Ah, yes it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically for Muppetillo. <laughs> That's like the only Spanish I remember from school. That and um, Tu es el grande pechos. I don't know how to ask where the airport is in, in German, if that counts. Um, no. Because cause it's, it's, it's the fantastic word flugzeug. How, how do you say um, Kroksgård down in Swedish? How do you say... How do you say stay classy in whatever language we need to say stay classy in? Because thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. McNugget, thanks for coming back once again. Thank you very much for having me again. And you stay classy. You all stay classy, folks. God damn it. If you're going to steal my line, do it right. <laughs>